Here at the Velodrome, preparations for the London 2012 Olympic Games are reaching fever pitch. It's not just the logistical challenge of staging live events like this one that are being put to the test. There's a huge amount of technology that simply has to work come the summer. As the official audio-visual equipment partner of the Olympic Games, Panasonic is using the opportunity to test out some of the kit that will shape the way we experience the Games. From the cutting-edge cameras that will ensure this is the first ever Olympic Games broadcast live in 3D, through to the huge screens here in the venues and even the CCTV cameras that ensure everything runs smoothly. But the beating heart of Olympic Games technology isn't here at the Olympic Park. It's down the road at the Technology Operations Centre in Canary Wharf. This is the part of the Games that most people don't get to see. I'm joined by Chris Payne, who is Head of Technology Operational Readiness. Now, Chris, what is this place? It's the Technology Operations Centre. It's the nerve centre of the technology operation during games time. It's where we house all the specialists that do the deep dive monitoring and issue resolution of any technical issues that arise during the games. And what exactly are you monitoring here? Well, we're really monitoring three areas of systems, three buckets, if you like. The first bucket is all of the infrastructure stuff that's um, essential for the games. Secondly, all of the transactional systems that are used to allow the games to function. And the third bucket is really the audiovisual stuff, the giant screens, all of the presentational uh, technology that allows the public to experience the games in venue, but also outside the venues in the live sites and so on around the country. And that's the bit where Panasonic sit. And what sort of problems are you looking out for? Well, we're looking out for all sorts of different problems. Of course, one of the big differences in the London scenario is the upsurge in social media since the Beijing Olympics. So we're particularly alert to all of the issues of um, uh, network management, capacity management, and all those sorts of things. And London 2012 is presumably the most high-tech Olympic Games yet. So that must be a pretty big challenge for you. Um, it's a challenge. It's also exciting for us. Um, technology moves at a hell of a pace. Um, we have to be uh, aware of the changes and the movements to make sure that we anticipate um, all of the new stuff that's likely to come along. Music